This is News Talk ZB News. Good morning. It's five o'clock. I'm Neva Reti Manu. An analyst is urging New Zealand to play a larger role in the Middle East conflict. Tensions have quickly escalated after Israel killed a leader of Hezbollah and other senior members in aggressive airstrikes on Lebanon's capital. Iran's supreme leader says the actions will not go unavenged. Geopolitical analyst Jeffrey Miller says New Zealand has troops in the region and the nation will be affected no matter the conflict's outcome. New Zealand absolutely has skin in the game here and I think it is imperative that New Zealand continues to do more. We have to act smart here. We have to be the voice for peace and the voice for de-escalation. With Ryan Bridge and Smith City, this is News Talk ZB News. Good morning. It's 5.30. I'm Neva Reddy Manu. An analyst predicts the conflict in the Middle East will worsen long before it gets any better. Tensions have quickly escalated after Israel killed a leader of Hezbollah and other senior members in aggressive airstrikes on Lebanon's capital. Iran's supreme leader warns the deaths will go will not go unavenged. And geopolitical analyst Jeffrey Miller says Israel may plot to invade Lebanon. This escalation, this fear of a wider regional war is becoming reality at this very moment. It is something that has been talked about since October last year. This is News Talk ZB News. It's six o'clock. I'm Raylene Ramsey. Fears conflict between Israel and Hezbollah will only worsen. Israel's army claims its latest barrage on Lebanon was because the Iran-backed group was planning a deadly version of last year's October 7 attack. The Lebanese Health Ministry says the strikes overnight killed nearly 500 people and injured 1,600. Foreign policy analyst Jeffrey Miller told Heather Duplessy Allen so far Israel's thwarted retaliation from Hezbollah. I think that's perhaps the risk here for Israel. In the end, Hezbollah, if they keep trying, they will probably break through and then we end up with the all-out war that we've been trying to avoid. It's 11 past five. Heather Duplessy Allen. A major escalation in the Middle East overnight with Israeli airstrikes on Lebanon killing around 500 people and 35 of them were kids and a whole bunch more. Thousands were injured. Israel attacked hundreds of Hezbollah weapon storage facilities leading them to the deadliest day since the civil war in 1990. Now, Jeffrey Miller is a geopolitical analyst. Hey, Jeffrey. Good evening, Heather. Is it inevitable that they are headed for a full-scale war? Look, I think we've been heading this way since October the 7th last year, or October the 8th, when the first uh, airstrikes from Lebanon really began, the rocket attacks uh, from Lebanon. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately, uh, there has been a level of inevitability about this. Uh, and this just takes it up a notch further, though. I mean, it's a huge death toll in a single day, almost 500 uh, people killed. You know, to put that in context, in the entire 34-day uh, war back in 2006 between Israel and Lebanon, uh, 1,300 uh, Lebanese uh, individuals were killed. So um, we're already at a third of that or more than a third of that in just a single day. What happens next? Do you think that there's retaliation? Look, we've been waiting for retaliation since July, really, when uh, the uh, Hezbollah commander for Chuga was killed. Israel killed another one uh, last week in the aftermath of those pager attacks. I mean, there's plenty of reasons for retaliation from Hezbollah and from Iran directly. And I think there are various plans that are, uh, are being made, um, but yet they're unable to carry them out. Israel uh, has very, very good intelligence, clearly. Uh, they conducted 1,300 uh, strikes uh, yesterday, or they attacked uh, 1,300 targets, I should say. Uh, they've got very good intelligence. They know what they're looking for. Uh, and we've, as we saw last week with those pager attacks, they're not afraid now to be all audacious. So I, I don't think it's through a lack of uh, a, a lack of desire that Hezbollah and uh, is not. Uh, is not uh, responding to what Israel is doing here, but they're just being foiled at every turn. And I think that's perhaps the risk here for Israel. Uh, in the end, Hezbollah, if they uh, keep trying, they will probably break through. And then we end up with the all-out war between Israel and, and Hezbollah that we've been trying to avoid. So I think dangerous times are ahead. It does seem all very ominous. It already is bad. It's a very bad situation and it could only get worse. And I, I think we also need to remember that Hezbollah is not Hamas. Hezbollah is very, very well armed, very, very well capable. They're much closer uh, to Iran by the virtue of being a Shia group. They've got 50,000 fighters, 150,000 rockets, uh, and they're more, they're better armed than many, many uh, governments, many states are in the Middle East. So it's a different kettle of fish here. 
Yeah, altogether. Hey, thank you very much, Jeffrey. Appreciate it. Jeffrey Miller, geopolitical analyst. Heather Duplessy Allen.